running an online store, you would want your customers to be able to make orders and also pay through your website. One of the key features for you to have on your website to be able to process orders is a payment gateway. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a payment gateway to your WooCommerce website. I will specifically show you how you can add PayPal payment gateway to your e-commerce website. Now if visitors of your website land on your website and they happen to find a product for instance this one, they add it to cart, they view the cart, proceed to checkout. When it is time to check out, you see that, sorry, it seems there's no available payment method for your state. And when this happens, the user will not be able to make the order. So in this video, I will show you step by step how you can add the PayPal payment gateway to your e-commerce website. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Sadiq here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. So this is the website I'm going to add a payment gateway to. Now before we get started, if you want to make this beautiful e-commerce website, I will leave a link to it in the description down below, which will show you step by step how to create this same e-commerce website. So to add a payment gateway, I go over to the dashboard of my website, then I go over to plugins, click on add new, and the search plugins, I search for PayPal. You see different plugins on PayPal that you can add to your WooCommerce website. But for this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and install this one PayPal Expert Checkout Payment Gateway for WooCommerce by WebToffy. I go ahead and click on Install now. It is installed. I activate. The plugin is activated successfully. Next, I go over to WooCommerce, then I click on Settings. In WooCommerce Settings, I go ahead and click on Payments. In here, I have PayPal Express. I go ahead and click on Setup. First of all, you need to make sure PayPal is enabled. Next, I select Express Checkout. Scrolling down, the environment, I will change it from Sandbox Mode to Live Mode. With Sandbox Mode, you will be able to test out PayPal. If you leave it as Sandbox Mode, meaning you want to use the test version of PayPal. So if you want to go live, you need to choose Live Mode. The next thing you need to do is log into your PayPal account in order to obtain your live API credentials from your PayPal account. And this is where you will need to fill them. So you need the live API username, live API password, and then live API signature. So I'll quickly log into my PayPal account. Having logged in, you need to make sure you go over to this URL that is paypal.com slash business manage slash credentials slash api access the access make sure the a is capital then go ahead and hit enter then on this page i scroll down to manage api credentials under nvp slash soap so this way i have my api username api password and signature so i just click on show beside api username to reveal my username I just go ahead and copy this then I come back to WooCommerce settings right click in here paste next I go back to PayPal and I'll go ahead and reveal the password and then the signature so I'll do the same thing just as I did for the API username copy them and paste them inside WooCommerce settings and get back to you all right I've pasted all the credentials I can exit from PayPal Next is the title of the payment gateway, which is PayPal, and the description is secure payment via PayPal. Going down under PayPal Express Checkout button, you may want to show the PayPal Express button on the cart and checkout page, or show the Express Credit button on the cart and checkout page. So I will leave all these as they are for now, and the button size, you can choose whichever size you want, I will keep it as medium. Next is branding, which is the brand name of your store. In the landing page, you may want to set it to billing instead of login. Take note, all these details, you can change them if you want, but I'm not going to change. This is the name of my store, as you can see in here. And going down, I don't need to do any other thing. I just go ahead and click on save changes. Now, PayPal payment gateway is enabled. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a like so that it will be suggested to more people. 
and also benefit more people on YouTube. Now let's go and test it up. So I go to the front end of my website. I just add one product to cart. View the cart. So in here you see that I have the checkout with PayPal button and also PayPal credit button. So if I don't need all this, I need to go back to WooCommerce settings and take them off from here. Now if I also go to the checkout page, you see the same thing. So going back, I click on proceed to checkout. You see both buttons on top here. Going down, I now have PayPal as my payment gateway. So before I click on proceed to checkout to see how that one will come up, I want to go ahead and remove these buttons. So I just exit them from here and I do the same thing in here. Going down, I click on save changes. Now if I go back to the front end and I go to the cart page, you see that the button is gone. If I proceed to checkout, they are not here anymore. Perfect. I've already filled in my billing details. I just go ahead and proceed to PayPal. And from here, I can proceed to my PayPal account in order to complete my order. But I don't want to pay to myself, so I cancel and return to Watch Store. So that's it on how to add a payment gateway to your WooCommerce website, specifically PayPal payment gateway. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you'll be the first to know. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.